CAT on highway truck engines are designed to make sure you get to work and get the job done day after day. Under the hood, CAT engines are also working hard to maximize fuel efficiency while meeting emissions regulations. The CAT regeneration system is intended to operate automatically during most operating conditions, but conditions can change. So operators must also understand the alert indicators in the cab to make sure the after treatment is regenerated successfully. Typically, automatic regeneration removes soot from the diesel particulate filter, or DPF, without the need for driver action. Just make sure the dash switch is in the automatic regeneration position. If your truck is equipped with a separate inhibit or disable switch, it must be in the not inhibited, not disabled position. And keep in mind, automatic regeneration will not start if the coolant temperature is below 140 degrees Fahrenheit, the engine load is greater than approximately 80%, or vehicle speed is less than the configured speed, typically five miles per hour. Also, automatic regeneration will not start while the engine brakes are active. But once an automatic regeneration is in progress, normal engine brake usage will not disrupt the process. Active automatic regenerations will, however, be interrupted by extended, continuous operation of the engine brakes in the high setting. If automatic regeneration does not happen, for whatever reason, you'll see this illuminate. This is the DPF lamp. At this point, the driver must decide whether to perform a manual regeneration. If the truck is not going to be operated at vehicle speeds of greater than five miles per hour, less than 80% load, or without engine braking, a manual regeneration might be a good idea. If a manual regeneration is not performed and conditions prevent an automatic regeneration from occurring, a D-rate will eventually occur. If the answer to a manual regeneration is yes, the operator must make sure the DPF lamp is on or flashing with the inhibit switch in the not inhibited position. Then follow these steps. The driver should pull over in a safe location and set the parking brakes. If the truck is equipped with automatic transmission, it must be in neutral. Press and hold the manual regeneration button for three seconds after that's done, the DPF lamp will go out and the engine speed will elevate. Five to ten minutes later, the HEST lamp will illuminate, acknowledging that the system is up to temperature. Engine speed will return to low idle when the process is completed. Unless necessary, the operator should not push the throttle, clutch, or service brake during the manual regeneration, as this will inhibit the process. If this does occur, the process will need to be restarted from the beginning. Drivers also have the option of initiating manual regenerations even when the DPF lamp is not illuminated, as long as a regeneration has not been completed in the last four hours. If a manual regeneration is attempted without the DPF lamp illuminated and a regeneration does not start, nothing's wrong. It simply means a regeneration has been completed within the last four hours and one is not necessary at this time. Remember the DPF lamp? Here are other reasons why operators must pay close attention to it. If the DPF lamp begins to flash and the check engine lamp is off, that could mean the electronic control module is requesting an automatic regeneration, but the disable switch is in the inhibit position. Switch it to automatic, like this and the automatic regeneration will begin as soon as conditions allow. When the DPF lamp turns on as solid amber, the driver should assess upcoming driving conditions and possibly start planning to trigger a manual regeneration when safely possible. If conditions change to allow an automatic regeneration, the DPF lamp will turn off. This is fine and means no additional actions are needed at the moment. If the DPF lamp changes from solid to blinking, a manual regen needs to be performed when safely possible. Now let's say the DPF lamp is flashing and the check engine light is on. That indicates soot loading has reached level three, D-rate has begun, 
and a safe regeneration opportunity must be sought out as soon as possible. It should be manual, again, when it's safe to do it. If regeneration cannot be achieved, the truck should be taken to an authorized cat repair facility. If the vehicle continues to be driven without regeneration, the engine progressively derates down to a reduced horsepower level, which will limit maximum vehicle speed. The engine will shut down when level four soot loading is achieved if the after-treatment monitoring system is programmed to shut down. The engine can be restarted and continue to operate in a derated condition and regeneration can still be initiated during this time as long as the DPF lamp is flashing. But if regeneration is not initiated and the engine keeps running, the soot levels will continue to increase. If the cat regeneration system determines soot levels are too high for manual regeneration, the engine will shut down. The engine can be restarted, but will only run for 60 second intervals before engine shutdown occurs. During this mode of operation, regeneration is locked out. At this point, only licensed cat repair facilities using the cat service tool can initiate regeneration. If regeneration of the DPF is not initiated, the red stop lamp flashes 30 seconds prior to the engine shutdown. If the after treatment monitoring system is programmed to derate, the engine will not shut down when the level four soot level is achieved. The engine will continue to operate in a derated condition. Regeneration can still be initiated during this time as long as the DPF lamp is flashing. And again, if regeneration is not initiated and the engine continues to operate, soot levels will keep increasing. If the cat regeneration system determines soot is too high for manual regeneration, regeneration is locked out. Once locked out, only licensed cat repair facilities using the cat service tool can initiate regeneration. The HEST lamp is a reminder to the driver that the DPF outlet temperature is more than approximately 840 degrees Fahrenheit. The vehicle speed must be less than five miles per hour for this lamp to illuminate. This condition can occur under normal operation. If drivers find they cannot perform automatic or manual regeneration, make sure the truck is taken to an authorized CAT repair facility for service. Fully understanding the CAT regeneration system will ensure your truck is ready to do the job over the long haul under any condition.